This month we've had to come in early for lineup. Yeah, we'll be the last yeah. Yeah. Okay, roll well call. Cut the crap and get it here. Hey, Sarge, why us? I mean, 5,000 cops in L.A. and we're the only ones who have to come in early for the lineup. What is that? That's the way it is. Come on. Ah, come on, Nichols. Ease up. Guys are doing a great job. Back off. Come roll on. call now. <laughs> oh, charming. The thing I like best about him is his warm, comforting personality. Yeah, well, I hate the way he hides his real feelings. You know what I mean? Maybe we should try and fake it for a while. You know? See if we can get along with Nichols. Forget it. Maybe we should break his leg. <laughs> Maybe we should go to roll call. Okay. Roll call. Yes, yeah, sir, up. Namaguchi. Here. Nyquist. Here. Oliveres. Here. O'Malley. You saw him in the locker room. Mark him here. The locker room is not the roll call room. Lucas. Present, sir. Sorry, Sarge. Yeah. Okay, you all got today's hot sheet? Hit the streets and don't last up. So what are you gonna do? Now what? Hey, I keep asking you and you keep avoiding the subject. I haven't given it a lot of thought, that's all. Hey, it's unnatural not to think about it. I mean, I still got 14 years to go, I think about it. Yeah. Well, you weird. Boy, you used to talk about all the neat things you were gonna do when you retired. Now it's just three weeks away. 13 days, including today. Or 13 days away. 13 days. And at the age of 41, you got all that pension money for life. You got a lock on the world. No, I know you too well, Frank. Something's going on, and you're not letting your old buddy in on it. Something's going on over there. But do you think that people let you... Oh, 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 people, you're not animals. Never mind your business. Stay here. Boy, thank Johnny, you boys got here just in time. What we have here is a crime against humanity, the destruction of a neighborhood, and a malfunction of the capitalist system. This young man is here to evict us from our homes. Yes. yes. Hey, 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 hold on just a second. Now, what's the story here, pal? Well, I'm sorry about this, but these people have had ample warning, sufficient and proper legal notice. I'm merely carrying out the instructions of my company. Which is? Venprop Incorporated. Get out of here. This is a civil matter. You have no right to interfere. He's right, John. It's a civil matter. It's more than a civil matter. It's a question of civilization. What kind of civilization destroys its own people? Since when is assaulting an officer a civil matter? I beg your pardon? 
You think that you can knock a policeman down and then beg his pardon? I didn't knock you down. In knock my whole life, I never saw such a thing. Officer Lucas walked over and said, what's going on here? And bing, this madman knocks him down with a brick. I personally saw the whole thing. Anybody else here? Yeah. 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 They all saw it. How are you? I'd leave right now, pal. You can't possibly believe this will end this way. Well, I kind of do, Mr. Ben. I, I think it might be a good idea if you took a walk. We can discuss this. Okay, 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 fine. okay. Don't come back. We don't need I'll you. I'll see you at the court. All right. right. Johnny. Johnny, he'll run to his bosses. You'll be in trouble. That's ah, my middle name. Uh, listen, uh, it might work, but I think you do have a problem. Listen, I had the same kind of problem when I was a flower child. We had a commune in a big old house in the middle of this very nice neighborhood, and they tried to evict us. So? So we went public. We aroused the press. We held a rent strike for building improvements. The whole shot. And did it No. Who cared about a bunch of drug-crazed hippies? But a bunch of old people. Now, that might work. <laughs> The revolution commences in my apartment. Come, everybody. We'll discuss things in the Look at that thing. He's ruined my building. I don't know how he did it, but when I closed last night, there was nothing on that wall. And when I got here this morning, there he was signing it. You know, it looks kind of nice. Nice? It's a masterpiece. Yeah. It's powerful, searing, angry. Oh, nice. I want that lunatic in jail. Now, hold on a second, Mr. Stitt. Just one second. This here is Benito Juarez Zapata. He's the most famous artist in all of Venice. Well, this searing masterpiece has probably increased the value of your property. You're a lucky man. Lucky? This is the Christian ethic bookshop, and it's got pagan gods cavorting all over its wall. He's got a point. You painted the wrong religion on the man's wall. Well, why not do it again? This time, something nice. I mean, passionate. From the New Testament. Do you want me to paint in the daytime? The light? Well, I don't know if I want... Paint in the daytime. That's a wonderful idea. Well, we'll just leave you two to work out the details, Benito. It will be my greatest work of art. The greatest. I will need money for paint. Scaffolding food for a month. But you did this overnight with your own pain. Oh, this pig and trash. No, I will paint a masterpiece for you. For that winning money. Uh, don't stop. That's lovely. I thought I heard a bicycle. Hello, George. Hi. What was that? That was beautiful. It's some Sibelius. I have to practice it for my master class. What time is it? Uh, it's about uh, 10. Good. <laughs> I'm through here. Would you like to walk a little with me? Sure. I've never seen you on the street before. Haven't you heard? I'm the blind violinist at Doodle Alley. They pay me to play here three days a week. Do you know, there's an old Malibu Indian legend about blind people. Was there really such a tribe? What do you mean, was? I'm still here. The legend is that blind people are specially blessed because they have eyes that see into the spirit of man. Oh, I like that legend. Here go. Let's go. Lucas. Okay. That's nice. Uh, now I got the whole freak squad. and want to close the door, pal. Mally, you're supposed to be the one with the sense around here. I told them downtown, when they come up with this freak squad idea, it stunk. They didn't listen to me. First of all, we're not a freak squad. Those people out there are not freaks. They're a community. Because cops like you keep calling them freaks, they need cops like us to do community relations, to keep the whole town from blowing up. When I want you to talk, I'm going to point my finger and say, Lucas. Till then, shut up. Well, we all did real good in uh, community relations today. Especially you, Lucas and O'Malley. O'Malley, I'm really surprised at you. They got a call downtown. Seems two of my freak squad, oh, excuse me, my uh, 
college trained at police department expense community relations experts interfered in a civil matter and threatened a representative of something called Fentrop Incorporated? Well, now I can explain that. Later. What? Then officers Namaguchi and Pulaski have this irate citizen who claims they conned him into getting his store painted and are taking kickbacks. This they're gonna love downtown. Hey, Sarge, that's a lot of bull, and I can explain that. You can? Good. You're gonna get the chance. I'm gonna see to it personally. Last but not least, we have our Native American representative who spends his duty time making out with a chick in public. Nice. Community relations. Sarge, can I say something? No, I'm still talking. I've had it up to here with you comedians. You don't belong on a police force, any police force. Downtown, they don't know you're a bunch of misfits, and they sure as hell are not gonna listen to an old-time cop like me. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna prove it to them, and you're gonna help me. You can't change any more than I can. So every day you're gonna be out there screwing up, and every time you do, I'm gonna land on you. I'm gonna push you guys so hard, you're gonna turn into real cops or real civilians, one or the other. Now get out of here. Not you, O'Malley. I want to talk to you. Sarge, can I say something now, please? Make it brief. I just wanted to say what an inspiring talk that was and how much we all admire your keen sense of leadership. Out, freak. I want a favor. Uh, I looked you up. Your records. You're an old timer like me. Was it uh, another couple of weeks, 13 days? You got your 20 years in. Another four years, I got my 30. You're a 30 year man, I can tell. So, I. I want to level with you. All right? Shoot. This, uh, bunch of yours. Yeah, not mine. I'm not like this, Arch, we work together. We're friends, that's all. Yeah, yeah, but you've got the seniority. They respect you, that's obvious. Uh, they listen to you. God knows they don't respect much, so... I want to count on you. I want you to straighten them out. Especially Lucas, he's your big pal. They all follow him. You're right. Johnny could be headed for a lot of trouble. He's a good cop. Good guy. We could use more like him. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I won't forget it, Frank. 